Hey, good evening. I'm really happy to have you here. My name is Daniel, I was a professional opera singer and beatboxer, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different tonight, actually. So, we're going to be listening to Elizabeth from The Charismatic Voice perform Mozart's Matern aller Arten. So, this is a piece I've never performed because it's written for a soprano, <laughs> and I am not a soprano. <laughs> but I have heard many of my colleagues perform this, and it's a beautiful piece when performed well, and I have never actually heard Elizabeth's voice before, at least when singing. <laughs> so I'm really excited to jump into this. I have no idea what to expect from her, but just judging from the thumbnail, it looks like she's on a pretty big stage, so I'm assuming that she's a lovely vocalist, and I'm really excited to jump into it, and I hope you are as well. So without any further delay, let's do it. Gosh. Yeah! Oh! 
Oh, yeah! Brava, brava. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna sing her praises right now. Her phrasing was gorgeous. You had so much dynamic contrast within each musical cadence. Each cadence had so much care put into it. And don't even get me started on her vocal runs, her vowel manipulation, and... The shape of the vowels were just growing and expanding constantly, especially through her runs. And they had so much momentum. And she was just riding that momentum with those vowel changes beautifully, with dynamic contrast within them. And it just... Oh my gosh, chef's kiss, dude. So amazing. Her diction was so clean, so crisp. At the very end of her words, she clipped on these consonants that was so gentle. Even consonants that have more of a rough sound to them, like dich. Having that can be very rough, but she clips it on so beautifully, but it's still audible and it completes the entirety of the word. Her vowels were so pure, so broad, and she allowed so much space in her mouth to project out to the back of an audience. 
Her performance was beautiful. She had very little tension in her body. She was portraying the character and the translation of the piece very beautifully. She didn't have a lot of room to move around, so she can't really walk around on stage. So she has to make the most of where she's standing, which is very typical for these types of performances. And she didn't have any tension in her body. She just portrayed the translation through the swift fluid movement but when things got very intense you saw a little bit more sharp movement but not anything that really impeded her voice it was so gorgeous she had such a pure and broad sound throughout the entirety of the piece and i just can't sing her praises enough oh my gosh that was one of the most beautiful renditions of that piece i've ever heard and i've heard that piece quite a few times from many of my colleagues <laughs> no disrespect to my colleagues they're all wonderful people and their voices were absolutely tremendous but just in terms of how expertly executed this was performed oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm so excited to pick this apart a little bit more and just elaborate on just how incredible this performance was. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Right there. You see in her face, eyes closed, immediately comes up. She's already built that world. She's in it. She's ready. She gives a look to the conductor, but she's still in the world. She's still there, present, ready to guide you through this world that she's about to create for you. Oh, amazing focus and concentration here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can feel her intensity. And also, the orchestra is incredible. I forgot to mention that in my post-succinct analysis briefing, I guess, but uh, the orchestra was just wonderful. All in time, all keeping with her and the conductor. Remarkable. <laughs> oh, yes, her rolled R's flow so beautifully. The beginning word, mar. You get a very strong M. Open ah. Ah, it's just, just the first few words. You can just tell. Strong diction, big pronounced voice, strong momentum within that diction. Like I was mentioning the way the R's were rolled straight into the upcoming words. Ah, it's just brilliance within those first few words. Incredible. Strong N consonant there on that N. R10. Feeling that N. Writing that N all the way through. Watch her commit to that. She opens her mouth after the note has already ended because it allows the sound to reverberate throughout the hall. R10. And allowing that sound to echo giving you chills in your body, and you feel the intensity of that N reverberating, even though the sound has ended, but the feeling hasn't ended, so you just feel that intensity emitting off of her. Oh my gosh, incredible stuff. Yes. Her dynamic control here is beautiful. That vocal run was incredible. You saw her vowel shape open and close throughout it, moving with the music, with the vocal line. The dynamics were flowing with that as well. It wasn't static in any capacity, not within the volume of that run, not within the vowel shape of that run. And the way she ended it with so much crisp, clear diction, emphasizing her point, beautiful, beautifully done. Und pine. Yes. 
so strong, so commanding. Your focus and attention is just even more forcibly drawn to her. It's so powerful. Her charisma and her energy is so dominating. It's incredible, dude. Like, really think about that. There are tons of performers on stage right now. All of them are playing their musical instrument, but she is the only one who really has your attention. And this isn't just because of the forced perspective through the camera. If you were there live, it would be the exact same thing. And it's just remarkable. It, it's just so remarkable. Just look at her face, dude. It, it's just so a part of her world. And you feel this energy. It's not just the music being performed. It's how she's expressing the music. And it's so critical in world building. Like I mentioned when we started this piece, this is an aria, which means this is a piece within an opera, which is a story. It's a full story. She is a character experiencing her own story, which is unfolding through this aria. And you just feel this intensity emitting off of her and it's it's so powerful like i mentioned she can't move around the stage she only has that one space so one you can only move your arms and your body so much but also a lot of that energy needs to come through your facial expression as well without causing any tension in your face in your body and it's so imperative that in these types of performances that you express what it is you're singing and she's doing such a remarkable job of that not just within the music but physically in her facial expressions as well amazing she's so delicate Her dynamic control is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and again with that N launch. Let it reverberate. Yes. And notice how the orchestra is mimicking this kind of ebb and flow in the dynamic. And it's just so beautiful. You can tell that the conductor, Elizabeth, and the rest of the orchestra have spent many hours sitting together, working through the music. These are the crescendos that we're adding. These are the vocal ornaments that we're adding. These are everything to make this piece as tight and as well constructed as it can be. And uh, it's... I love it when music has so much care and thought put into it. Oh, making sure that it's not, it's not one, but you're separating them. So critical because even though they're all notes within a cadence that flow, you got to make sure that these are distinct words, that you are communicating a story and that each word has its own integrity and you separate the words and pronounce these words with crisp diction. And ah, she's doing such an amazing job of that here. And her breath placements are wonderful. She knows exactly when to breathe in the middle of the cadence in order to finish the cadence, but not have that breath be in any awkward or uncomfortable place. Remarkable stuff. Beautiful.
I personally have a very challenging time doing vocal runs. My voice is very weighted and I very much prefer singing more lento pieces or slower pieces. I like feeling that ebb and flow, that calm wave-like structure. But one of my favorite roles to perform is Leporello from Don Giovanni and his main aria has really quick notes. It's very difficult for me to keep that kind of tempo and momentum, but it's very fun, but it is very difficult for me. So I do not envy sopranos for having to make these vocal runs, especially on just one vowel. Even if the vowel is being manipulated, just constantly running through that line. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. And she just does it seemingly effortlessly. And there's so much care, dynamic contrast, and it flows so intrinsically. And that takes a lot of skill and a lot of vocal refinement in order to execute that well. She's doing an exceptional job. retired here. Uh, she's just taking her time with it and is in perfect time with the conductor leading the rest of the orchestra in this beautiful retard. And she's just taking her time so delicately. Yeah, dude, love that. Listening to that again. <laughs> Just the way she attacks those notes with such vigor, such intensity. Ah, oh, it's so commanding. I love that. Oh, uh, just notice how she shrunk into that note where it's not necessarily timid or benign. It's just concentrated, but you feel a tremendous amount of power and intensity in that softer dynamic or in that qu more quiet volume. And uh, you just feel that concentrated energy just ready to beam out and explode. Dude, it's so good. Oh my gosh, her control is incredible. Can you imagine just riding an insane high of strength, power, and full expressiveness, and then have the temerity to rein that in to make it so concentrated and small again? Oh my gosh. She's obviously performed this a million times and understands this piece very well to where just that immense contrast so quickly is so striking. And oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful stuff she's doing right here. Incredible. <laughs> I love the way she separated them. It wasn't staccato and every note was its own thing. It was all connected. And even though each word was in fact separated, the momentum didn't lose a step. You just felt like the music was still in that ebb and flow, beautifully penned state. It's very legato still, even though we got ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. And you just feel that pulse. And ah, oh, it's so great. Oh, 
People don't realize how freaking impressive this is. And I didn't even finish the phrase, and I'm really sorry about that, but this in and of itself is so wildly impressive. Just in the fact that you attack a note and keep it at this very soft dynamic, but have the breath support of something that's capable of a fortissimo or a very loud volume. And you just keep that restrained and you allow this breath to be spinning as strong as it would be in that loud dynamic, but contained, concentrated, focused. And then you just keep that consistency all the way through, not a single voice crack, which would reflect either a lack of proper breath support or something happening in your throat, causing your throat to dry out. But regardless, you just feel this powerful consistency, this beautiful sustainment. And then she holds it for such a long time. And it's not even the end of the run yet. And the moment that we actually do start approaching the second half of the run, then she starts growing and letting it flow like oh my gosh her quick breaths she utilizes them so expertly. Quick breaths are when you don't have a lot of time to intake a ton of air. So you utilize the breath that you are intaking to its maximal ability. And that's exactly what she's doing here. Incredible work. She knew exactly when to breathe, when to not interrupt the flow of the vocal run. And it was just gorgeous, perfectly executed. <laughs> And also notice when she's breathing, she's not breathing in through her chest. She is breathing through her diaphragm. And you can't see it underneath her dress, but her legs are slightly bent and you can feel that she does have a ton of support under her. She wouldn't be able to execute these runs if she didn't have this level of support, this grounding sensation in her legs in order to produce this type of very powerful sound. <laughs> Beautiful. Ended the note where the sound might have ended from the vocalist, but the sound is reverberating and it still strikes you emotionally right into your core. Yeah. Even when she's in the lower part of her register, she's still singing these notes with so much care, with so much strong breath support. It's not like she's faltering by any means. She might be at a lower end of her range, but it's still very strong, very well supported. She doesn't skip a beat. It's just so well done. Beautiful. Oh, the way she entered that note, oh. Oh.
Also, something else that I need to comment on. You can obviously tell that she's sweating a lot, and this is very common for stage performers. You have a lot of lights on you, you're doing a long show, you're on stage a lot, and this is something very, very critical, especially when you are a professional. Even if sweat is dripping down and it feels really uncomfortable, you just let it happen. Unless there's something happening that really does impede or will impede your breath or the way that you're performing, you don't commit to any action that is outside of the character. And you can tell that she's undergoing a lot of heat in her body right now, just from how much she's sweating. But you adjust to it. You get used to it. And you don't wipe anything away until the performance has ended. And it would actually be better if she just did it off stage as well. And at the end of the performance, she just thanked the conductor, thanked the first chair, and the level of professionalism in this piece is extraordinary. <laughs> Yeah, she was bending her body with it and just kind of showing this dynamic flow in that run. And even though it flows very beautifully, it's a little all over the place. And you felt that in your body because she obviously felt it in hers. And you just have this strong connection with her. It's beautiful. <laughs> The crispness on Detort. Just that crispness is so impactful. I love it so much, dude. Yeah, and uh, I, I love that smile. Just letting it out at this point. Yeah! Such a beautiful performance. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into when, when I decided to listen to you, your voice and your performance here, but oh my gosh. Such a wonderful soprano voice. Your vocal mastery and your understanding of the music and the translation and your ability to mesh very well with the orchestra and perform it. And oh, it was just gorgeous. That was a superb performance. I absolutely loved it. And I could easily see myself sitting through a couple of hours of just you committing to a recital. That was beautiful, beautiful work. And in the opera scene, it is very difficult to stand out, especially as a soprano, because essentially for every one baritone, there's 10 sopranos. So to stand out amongst sopranos is excruciatingly difficult. And I think you really did that. This was so well done, so well executed and performed. Every single cadence, every single note and consonant and vowel was given so much thought and care. And ah, oh, it was, mm, yeah, it was so good. <laughs> Amazing job, Elizabeth. I loved that performance. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments. I do read all of the comments, even if I may not hard to reply to all of them. So please just know that your comments do not go unnoticed. I am currently developing a lot of content for my Patreon right now, since I figured out a new way in order to actually upload the content without it getting blocked. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys when it's finally done and will be launched. My live streams are currently Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys would like to stop stop by and say hey or ask any questions about myself or the channel, I'd be more than happy to be there for you guys. I want to take this time to appreciate all of you for being here watching these videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.